Welcome back guys uh, to another vlog. So for today, we were trying to do you Yahoo Answers. It doesn't exist anymore. Not since April. They took it down. News to us because we thought we'd find something funny on there and we're like, oh, this could be great. Mm -hmm. And um, it doesn't exist anymore. So now we're on Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna see if there's anything funny ghost-wise. Yeah. Excuse the appearance of my hair. It didn't wash correctly today, and it's also extremely humid because we're getting hit by a tropical storm. Was it called Fred or Henry? Henry. Fred. I thought there was a Fred hurricanes happening somewhere I think else. there was, but considering that's F and one H, it must have been a few ago. Like two ago. There's a G in there. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they were comparing it to Fred. Could have been. I don't know. I it's just saw Fred. So. Either way, it's been gross out. Yes. It was like walking through soup yesterday. Yeah, and once again, every time we want to film with Lisa, it just whoosh, yeah, we have to film outside. We were f supposed to film today, and it was downpouring. What is this all day. like the second, third time? The world yeah. hates us. All right. So let's cut to Reddit and put this screen up. Maybe spell it wrong too. We're just gonna start with um, what's trending. Dogs, Eternals, COVID-19, and <laughs> art. <laughs> nice. Um, make sure it's all right. So we're just going to search, are ghosts real? Let's see what comes up if we just use it like Yahoo Answers. We don't know how Reddit works. I don't do Reddit. Communities and users. Paranormal evidence. Sounds spooky. Polls, are ghosts are real. Anyone who wants to read or share experiences with ghosts they have had, whether you're a skeptic or believer, you are bound to have an opinion. So come read and enjoy the true story. So are ghosts real or no? <laughs> so click, you can click on them. Let's see what Reddit users have to say. Do people think ghosts are real? So are ghosts real or no? You got all... Where to go? <laughs> Why does it do this to me? I hate technology. I'm get, I get so mad. <laughs> <Guys>. <laughs> You got all of these tools to look for ghosts, like EMFs and all the spirit box stuff. Obviously, there's science behind making those. What does science think about ghosts? Oh, going up. He hasn't gone up there in a while. He's snuggling up. Oh. Pega Jace. <laughs> Obviously, there's science behind making those. There really isn't. They're pseudoscience designed to look flashy for laymen who aren't familiar with the ins and outs of actual scientific. Sounds like a uh, shaniac. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, zero evidence supporting the existence of ghosts, which is exactly what we'd experience expect if ghosts weren't real. So it says there's no proof. There's always evidence. You flip a coin ten times, it lands heads four times. Then those are each evidence that the coin has heads on both sides. This isn't entertaining. Type in the Ouija board. Mm. Isn't that what's that one of the Yahoo thing? Have you ever used a Luigi <laughs> <laughs> board? If you get it, you get it. <laughs> Did you probably get it if you know what I'm referencing? No community results. Have you ever used a Luigi board? Spirits have you, and they're speaking directly to the spirits, spirits. through Reddit. <laughs> oh, and they're using the letters M, A, R, I, Mario is, I am. Uh oh. oh no. Maybe ask something about girls. That should be funny. How do periods work? Oh, times people mansplain things, maybe? Mm. All right, we're going from paranormal scary to real life scary. <laughs> if you guys have anything funny, though, please put them in the comments for us. Um, well, let's just search mansplain. Mansplain like I'm five. <laughs> let's see what's up here. Uh, let's not get political. Oh, thanks. There we go. There's the one. Ladies, aware. mansplaining is short for men explaining. 
I felt like I was being mansplained to Oh, me. I saw yeah. this. I am obsessed with oh, the stance on this sharpshooter. That will have Very a huge casual. recoil. There's wo- there's a reason why people hold a gun with both hands. You know she won gold, right? Yeah, she's an older person. But there's a, a I feel I felt like I was being mansplained to the other day. I went to get a memory card from Walmart, and the guy was like, "Okay, what's this for?" And I told him it was for our Zoom recorder. He's like, "Okay," because I'm like he wasn't being condescending or anything about it. It just I took it very weirdly. I was fine about it, but it was just also like, I why would I know? What, I know what I'm. Be like, sir, do you even know what a Zoom recorder is? It's like, is this why you have all the memory cards locked up now? Like, you, just to get like a cheap little five dollar memory card, it's locked up, and you have to get it demagnetized to yeah. get it. Is it just so they can like mansplain to people? <laughs> Just though they're like you know we're bored, but then you have to stand in line in the technology department while other people are like getting phones and going through like their plans and everything. You have to stand there for forty minutes just to be like, "Hey, can you walk five feet so I can get this memory card and be on my way?" It's really annoying. That looks too long. Fun. I went to a, a tech store to renew my antivirus software. Before I could tell him what antivirus I want, the store owner pretty much starts explaining what a webcam is and how it's used. All because all I could do was stare blankly at the man's face. All because he wouldn't shut up. What does a webcam like- have to do with antivirus? I mean, yeah, your webcams get hacked, but it's like, unless she even mentioned it, what are you talking about? It's like, sir, I just, it's not, it's not what I'm here for. You're wasting both of our time. This meme is about testicles. Oh. These are testicles. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks for explaining that. <laughs> Man's like, I don't understand why this is in here. Is it because this was edited out? Is it because they didn't think people could be able to infer? I wouldn't infer. Otherwise, we're just going to get... We're just exploring Reddit at this point. Yahoo Answers is funnier, and it just doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, Reddit. Everyone's always on Reddit. Reddit this, Reddit that. I was on Reddit. I was on a subreddit. I'd have you checked that Reddit. What is that? I don't <laughs> understand. No, that's not What's what the I Ask want. Reddit one? Maybe there's funny things Ooh, on there. Ooh, the place to ask and answer thought-provoking questions. Let's go there. Do we have to join to see? We shouldn't, I don't think. Reddit what? Can- Why? Retry. I have internet. Right here. Internet. There we go. What's something you have that you're pretty sure... What's something that you have that you're pretty sure nobody else has? Like something I own? Something you have. My dog. Yeah, I was going to say this this one. Look at him. His face is all smooshed. (laughs) I don't think I have anything that's like one of a kind. I don't have anything one of a kind either autographs but i guess that some people have like autographs um any mary alice we have mary, mary lou alice. <laughs> I, have, I have the only mary lou in the world <laughs> yeah she does it's got my face on it <clears throat> should we see what other people have that other people don't have a dimple in my right thigh from when my mother had an, an yes, and they hit me with the needle Oh, interesting. I'm glad they hit your <laughs> leg and not your head. Amen. Imagine if they... <laughs> but they said you'd probably be bald. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Uh, <laughs> what is oh, happening here's the here? trolls. We'll just skip past those. Scar on his forehead and the scalpel. There. It, yeah, so another birth thing. Like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> another scar... Accidentally stabbed me with a nappy pin when I was six feet old. Ow. The most elaborate scam before. What do you think won't exist in 2030? That's just going to get too real and deep and sad. Uh, animals. What's the, the most earth. damage you've ever done with a typo? Ooh, oh, what celebrity thing. annoys the fuck out of you? That's next. Oh, a lot of them. Let's see. Most damage you've ever ever done with a typo. I used to work for a museum booking group visits and educational programs for tour companies and schools. I was working on a reservation and they only told me how many students were in the group, but I also knew that they were adults. 
Hello, teacher name. We we'll also need to know approximately how many salons we visit in your school. <laughs> Luckily, they had a sense of humor. Not sure how many of us are sluts, but if you mean adults, it's going to be around eight or ten. How do you see? It's like this. Maybe I have... she was on her. How often do you type that? I don't know. <laughs> it's like on my phone. If I try to type like fuck, it goes duck. Most people do because so it's it's just like things like that. Most of us, because it's like censor. You don't want to talk about that when you are writing to an animal con conservation area to ask about their duck wildlife. <laughs> um, but I, for like this reason, I always like read things like five times before I send it and then I'll send it and then I'll have to be like, wait a minute, did I type that part <laughs> wrong and go back and read it again? I like this. Coincidentally, also eight or ten slots <laughs> as well. <laughs> no slut shaming. She and T are very close on the keyboard for some reason, um, regards... Is not my favorite email closing. Oh. It seems like you were this oh. person. <laughs> not a nice word. <laughs> if you asked my mom about visiting, she replied, no, you can't. <laughs> Plot would... twist, it wasn't a typo. Your mom is just a savage or Australian. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly. Oh my god. What's wrong with his response is missing the comma. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand what it was supposed to be. Submitting forms for a job got a real awkward call back. Did you mean to check this box saying that yes, you'll be you have you've been been involved with illegal distribution of controlled substances because you checked no on all the other questions about criminal behavior. <laughs> nice of the guy to give me a <laughs> chance to correct it at least. You're like, maybe they were just being honest. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. And pretty good to call you back and confirm another guy would have just assumed you meant to check that box and throw your application away. <laughs> who would admit to abusing power? Nobody. Oh my would. god, a, fr a friend who was an immigrant said, said he was asked, Do you plan to assassinate the president of the USA? I said, Why would anyone say yes to that? He said he thought it was. A, so they could quickly deport him for lying on his immigration form if he was caught plotting to assassinate the president, but they couldn't actually prove criminal charges B so they able to say we asked and he said no if he did assassinate the president and C to weed out people so delusional that they would say yes like the Nigerian prince scam where they make the offer intentionally implausible so that skeptical people never waste their time in the first place honestly B is pretty funny I'm kind of probably accurate so they can be like well you guys let him in well he said no <laughs> so <laughs> he'd be like Hey, we asked, and he said no, so that's not on us. Yeah, it's our job. his fault for not telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Unintentional honesty hurts. You just name your worst failure or fear. Um, probably failure. Spiders. What are you afraid of? Death. Death. Getting old. Yeah. Normal stuff. I feel like, oh, I feel like it's just normal stuff that most people are afraid of. Yeah. I wish that you could have, like, because obviously sometimes you don't even know what you think because your mind is, like, complicated. So I wish sometimes I just had, like, a hat, like, a hat, like, the sorting hat from Harry Potter where I could just be like, okay, how do I feel about this? I could just read my mind and dig through all the, like, tangles and just, like, so pull that's something your... out to be like, okay, this is what you actually think. So a therapist. Yeah, I could use a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is... Therapists don't know the answers. They're, no, but they can pull it out of you. Because they know how to ask the right questions. That's the trick with therapy. Coming from... I mean, I'm not qualified to be a therapist. But um, the whole thing is that they work with you and they know how to, like, ask the questions to get... They make you think through your own stuff so you come up with the yes, answer Yes, your yourself. hat is just you putting on a therapist. I wear the therapist on. I have one. It's like, sit still. Balance. Sit cross-legged if you need to. Can you imagine that? You're just walking down the street with some, like, giant man just sitting on top of your head. And they're like, what's happening? It's like, guys, I'm in a therapy session right now. Don't interrupt. We need full concentration. Okay. That would be kind of weird, though. Probably kind of like human caterpillar. Or not. That's not a human caterpillar. Human centipede type of thing. Butt to head. They have to be upside down. So they're just, like, doing a headstand on your head. Walking down the street. All right. Genius. So which celebrity annoys you? The Paul brothers. They're pretty terrible people who are terrible influences to impressionable kids. Isn't everybody? Okay. Jim, James Corden. 
A lot of people don't like him. So like I'm surprised, him. considering he has a show. I don't watch it. Well, just because he sh has a show doesn't mean anything. There's a lot of people funny. who have shows that shouldn't have shows. I don't watch him, so... What sign do you 100% <laughs> believe is actually about drugs? There's a lot of them. Oh, and then there's a Samsung ad. That looks good to eat, but has off pace. The first psychological trick you learned that blew your mind. Small things that make you happy. Severely underestimated. Here we go. What is a supernatural event that happened in your life that just cannot be explained? Ooh, explain! Spooky time. Turn down Where the lights. The Jax, ghost? hit the lights. I can't reach the button. Jax, hit the lights. He's sleeping. Let the poor boy snooze. All he does is snooze. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll get up and bark and then you'll be like oh, I regret my decision <laughs> okay here we go I saw a small UFO in the forest with my son completely silent and pulsating an old and odd. odd bluish white light it was weaving slowly through the trees so like a firefly maybe fireflies aren't usually white and blue but it could have just been like a reflection or something or like a car or like a uh, it could have been like. I don't know how I feel feel about the UFO things. I'm not sure how I feel. About I, I had a phase in my mid-teens when I would read the obituaries in the local newspaper. I saw a name that was familiar, as it was the name of a family friend. It had his full first, middle, and last names. I didn't say anything to my parents since I figured they already knew. A few days later, my mom told me he died, and I said I knew since I saw his obituary. She said he died last night in his sleep. I went back through the newspapers, my mom kept them for a week before throwing them out, but the obituary wasn't there. When the real obituary came out, it had his first and last name, but just his middle initial. This was almost 40 years, and I still think about it. That's creepy. That is, maybe he... Like a mandala effect type Maybe of he saw something that was a similar to the name, mm -hmm. and didn't quite read it. But his brain, like, supplied a name. Your brain mm -hmm. does that sometimes, like... Or maybe he saw a picture and it looked... Familiar? I don't know. Something kind of like triggered that. Thought. Yeah. Or maybe like data. That oh, no, is creepy that's though. Weird. I would be creeped out. Yeah, me too. And then I'd go insane because I'd be like, I'd go back and try to prove it, and I'd be like, Oh my god, I can't prove it. I've had like moments like that, not like this, but like moments where I'm like, No, I swear. Like it happened. Um, a f uh, last week I showed up for work an hour late just because I thought I was in at the wrong time. So I was like 11 to 7, but I thought I was 12 to 8 because I'd looked at the wrong day, which I didn't realize. So I got in there like, oh, you're here. Everything okay? You, did you clear with the boss that you were going to be late? I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Wasn't in at 12. And I went back into my schedule because I was like, I have checked the schedule at least five times. Like I have checked it multiple times this week. I checked it last night to make sure and confirm that I was in at 12. And my brain said 12, but apparently the universe did not. So, <laughs> not quite the same thing, but that'd be freaky. This one's highlighted. It's a long oh one. Oh my god, let's skip it. So, or we could read it. Is it a good one? Yeah, why is it red? And it's got animations. It has a lot of awards. Let's read it. Okay, go ahead. Early into my now wife and I's relationship, I had a dream about her in childbirth. Very vivid and long. Like I spent days in the hospital with her and everything was in a strange twilight. When it came time to deliver, things went very wrong and she and the baby ended up passing away. Well, that's really sad. I woke up quite shook naturally, but brushed it off. Oh, oh wait, so that was still the dream. Yeah. Okay. So I woke up quite shook naturally, but brushed it off. I'm a nurse and have had to deal with traumatic OB situations before. And I chalked it up to me, to me dealing with the stress through a dream. Six years later, and my wife is pregnant. I have forgotten the dream by now. I get a call late into the third trimester while I'm on shift. Wife is going to the ER for a bad BP. I get off my shift and go to meet her. As soon as I step into the room, I remember my dream. It's the same damn room, which is extra spooky because the hospital we were at wasn't even built when I had the dream. This is last year, right when the lockdown started. My wife was admitted, and they want to wait a week to deliver if possible. She will be kept in a twilight state until that time. So it's me in this room, eerily isolated as the world around us is frozen and my wife is incoherent near feet away. Lingering for days in this room, I brushed off my dream trying to manage my anxiety and stress. That's so weird. Somebody has to, she has to be like unconscious for a week before delivering the baby. Uh, I mean, it said like a bad 
EP. I'm assuming that means blood pressure. Yeah. So some, some I've never heard of that. But Maybe I mean, to keep her from being stressed because she was in there. Probably try to keep it low in yeah. there so it doesn't like hurt her or the baby. We had only a week though. With a week, usually if it's a week, if it's only a week early, usually that's like enough time to spare unless there's like severe issues. I don't know. Not my delivery. I don't know. Yeah. Obviously, they're doing what they needed to. Come showtime, my wife gets ready to begin pushing, and it's exactly the same scenario as my dream. Things start going poorly, but the doctor thinks delivery is still possible. But at this point, I finally freak out into full panic and demand a C-section for my wife. The doctor, I can tell, wants to argue, but I think my outburst made her step back and reassess the situation, and she made the call for emergency C-section. Took 10 minutes for me to get taken back as I'm in the OR, and as I'm in the OR, I see my baby come out lifeless. They do everything they can and manage to resuscitate her. In the meantime, my wife is doing poorly and they are scrambling to control her bleeding. I follow the baby out knowing there's nothing, there's really nothing I can do. Baby gets life flighted to another hospital, but before we go, I see my wife stable and headed to the ICU. Both my wife and baby are critical, but alive. Today, they're both thriving and my baby's 16 months and just a tornado of energy. I don't know that they would be alive if not for that dream and it causing me to freak out and demand a change in plan. That's mm. so freaky. But also, can't your brain do something, it's called deja, deja vu, mm -hmm. where it thinks it's in something similar and, like, attribute, like... Yeah. Something like that, right? Because, I mean, they had forgotten about the dream, the author writes, that they had forgotten the dream about now. So it's possible that they could have, like, swapped out some details. Because I know sometimes... If I'm in a dream and I'm in a location, my brain, like, makes me think, like, oh, this is this location, even though it looks completely different, but it just, like, says, like, okay, this is school, even though you're in a swamp, and kind of thing, where it's, like, also my brain will do, oh, like, like, oh, this is this Ashley, is... but it looks nothing like Ashley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which also happens so. quite a lot, so it's, like, the brain... Not saying it didn't things. happen, but I'm saying no. there's such, such thing as called, like, deja vu, where your mm -hmm. brain thinks it is the same thing, but it actually wasn't... Yeah. But I mean, definitely good instincts took over to be like, all right, let's, I, I've been here before. Let's not do this. Because obviously, like, he's also in the medical field, too. So that dream did probably come out of, like, stress or anxiety. Seeing things. Mm -hmm. And then plus also, like, with his medical training, he's probably able to see, like, hey, things are going wrong. We need to take this in a different direction. Yeah. Which is probably good. Glad thing. they're doing okay, though. Yes. I'm glad for mom, baby, and dad. Is it dad? I don't know, did it say it's a guy? Yeah. For mom, dad, and author. Mm. This one's a long mm. one, too. This one has 222 replies. 73. The comment? Damn, that's freaky. I guess we have to read it now. Okay. Do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? Sure. Many years ago, my parents had separated and my father was planning on taking a trip across the country to California. He was pretty excited about it. I talked to him the day before he's leaving, wish him well, and tell him I'll talk to him after he gets to California. The day of his trip, he calls me and tells me he decided last minute not to go, refuses to really get into why, just says he changes his mind. Seemed really odd for something that he'd been planning for a couple of months. That night, I'm sitting at my girlfriend's house, and we're watching the news, and they, they report that the U.S. Air Flight 1493, the flight my dad was supposed to be on, collided with another aircraft while landing in Los Angeles. About 25% of the people in the flight were killed. Hard to know how my dad would have made out, because it really depended on where you're seating, front versus back of the plane. And it was several months before he finally told me that night, before he was supposed to leave, he had an extremely vivid dream that he died in a fiery plane crash. So vivid that it scared him out of flying that day. My dad is a Marine Corps Vietnam veteran who saw combat. I can only imagine how vivid the dream must have been to scare him, um, to scare him out of getting onto the plane that morning. That's crazy. People's dreams like, can be pretty crazy. Because someone's like, mm -hmm. I had a dream not to get in the car this morning, so I didn't. And then I missed a big car accident. Mm. It's so strange. Yeah. Or there was a moment, this isn't the same thing at all, really. But the other day, I went to another town to dog sit for somebody in a very tiny, like, very long, windy, curvy road. And uh, later that night, I saw a picture online that there had been an accident on that road where a car lost control and collided with a telephone pole and basically split it in half. And it was, like, super damaged. And I think that people were, 
like hurt but okay but it was just weird to think like i was on there earlier like good thing like i wasn't on that road when that happened but um yeah it's like the kind of thing where it's like i know somebody who i think was supposed to be on a plane or at going to the the airport or something for 9 11. like i didn't know them but like somebody i knew i think it was their son or somebody was supposed to go but i think either he was late or something came up and he had to cancel so he like avoided being in, involved in that yeah which was a very close call very strange This didn't happen to me, but a very nice old man and his wife used to live a few streets over from us. She got very sick and his son flew in to watch and care for her. A few weeks later, she moved to hospice and later died. The night she died, her husband and son drive home and they were talking about what to do for the funeral. And the husband asked, do you think she'd want some person to dead? And they both said they heard the dead mom slash wife in, this, in the back seat saying, no, thank you. I would cry. I would be super. Out. I would be like, oh, like, all right, they're not coming. Okay. All right, this is a long one. She Neither. said, she just said no to a ghost. <laughs> all right, gotta read it. All right, go ahead. All right. I have an idea of what may have happened, but I cannot definitively say how this happened. My father died in 2000 in my parents' house. I was over one night pretty late after my mother had gone to sleep. I swear I could feel my father's presence as I was right in the spot where he had died. Mm -hmm. They believe he had a heart attack while laying on the couch, tried to get off the couch to call for help but fell on the floor and died. Though nobody else was home when it happened. I was on the couch when this happened. Wait. What? What? Nobody was home? Maybe. No one, though, no one else was home. I was on the couch. A different couch, maybe? No. But then he wouldn't know, like, what everybody believed. He would know if he was there. So is he talking about, like... Maybe he's on the couch that where, that where it happened. I think that's what they're trying to say. Probably. Anyway, I thought to myself, this is stupid. People don't leave essences behind. I'm not feeling anything. So I say out loud, if this is really you, Dad, knock a box of cereal off the shelf onto the floor. I wanted to pick something I didn't think could happen by accident. I went into the kitchen and washed the shelf with the cereal on it for a few minutes and nothing happened. Since it was almost midnight, I decided to sleep in my old bedroom. I woke up the next morning and went downstairs and a box of cereal was laying on the floor. I say to my mother, did you knock that cereal onto the floor? She said, no, it was like that when she woke up. So, what the fuck, man? <laughs> however, however, my mother had a cat. I'm guessing the cat did it, but I don't know for sure. If she'd gotten on the shelf, everything would have been knocked around and messy from her. Everything else was in its normal position, just the box of cereal was on the floor. I mean, regardless, it had to have been the cat, right? Edit. My mother also told me, months before this happened, that she felt my father get in bed with her one night after he died. She said, go away, Greg, you're dead. <laughs> you don't need to go to bed anymore. And she said, she said she felt him get out of the bed after that. Weird. My mother despised my father by the end of his life, though, so they remained married. It's not surprising. <laughs> <laughs> she told him, GTFO. <laughs> That's <laughs> awful. But imagine the ghost just goes, well, go away. You're dead. <laughs> That's kind of funny. What? Well. <laughs> and it actually got up and yeah. it was like, like alright I see we're not on amicable terms <laughs> I guess I'm out your, <laughs> your mom is a fucking mad lad she just said no to a ghost <laughs> once you've had enough of their shit so you see, it's pretty easy to tell a spirit no gotta mean it or they won't listen I mean, it's, like, it's probably like, like talking kids. to a dog yeah you know, dogs you versus gotta put them in their, no yeah you gotta put them in their place Correct way to approach a guy. That could be either serious or people being ridiculous about it. Adults of Reddit, what are some things you wish you did as a teenager? Instead of doves, what other animals would you like to see released at a wedding? <laughs> Tigers, whoever runs Here the Here we go, what is your ones. signature catchphrase? Is that entertaining? Could be, depends on what their catchphrases is. 
I don't know. If you had a catchphrase, what would it be? I feel like you'd be like, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> you say that a lot. I don't usually say man, though. You do sometimes. To you, usually when I'm kidding, but usually yeah. I just say, I don't know. In response to you feel me, I feel you, Amelia Bedelia. <laughs> I have several for all work occasions. Who's running the rodeo? That's a howdy do. That's a bless their heart situation. Bless their heart is big in the South. If you ever hear somebody say bless your, they have, their heart, they're and they're talking about you, it's not a good thing. No. That's all I got to say about that. After a presentation stolen from Horace Gump. One last thing. I just realized I'm a country bumpkin. <laughs> Future sight. I say that whenever I predict something. That that should be you. I just say, see, I'm a psychic. I'll put my knees behind my ears and you can <laughs> Someone's like, catchphrase? I would like to make a suggestion. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez, Scoob. You got it, dude. That's not yours. It's all over but the crying. Shut the front door. I don't give a flying You know what I'm else. saying? My dad used to say this, and I guess I started to. When someone says wishes something, well, wish in one hand and shit in the other and tell me which one fills up first. What? Yeah, that's very interesting and all. It's just too bad that I don't care. I was going to say for this one before you moved on again. No, was it the response to that? Is it a, that's not a response. Oh, I thought it was. No, it would be over one line. Um, basically saying... Don't live your life on wishing and praying. Go out and do something yourself. Make it happen yourself. Things aren't going to answer your wishes. Life ain't no Drink more water. Oh, frick. I'm not one to judge, gossip, criticize, complain, etc. But <laughs> cheese and crackers. I want some cheese and crackers. I didn't do it. <laughs> I feel like that's something that I would say. <laughs> that was me at work when I first started. I didn't do it. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, I might have done it, but don't get mad. <laughs> I do that where <laughs> I go up to my boss if I've done something, I'm like, um, just so you know. Oh, yeah, I did that the other day. I was like, oh, by the way, I gave somebody a discount on the shoot because you told, she said you told them to, so hopefully I did it right. And she was like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> gotcha, buckle. That's fair. I've been saying that's fair quite a bit, too. You witch. Slap my nut and call me daddy. Or daddy. Daddy. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> this is some bullshit. This is not a back. All right, here's how we end it. Give me your catchphrase. Go. Uh, I feel like I'm also an I don't know. <laughs> Oops, my bad. <laughs> I feel like that's mine. Um, what would mine be? A shrug. It's not a catchphrase, though. That's an action. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe like a signature action or whatever, but like for a phrase. So phrase is words. Um, fair. I've been saying usually that's out quite a not bit recently. Not really. You usually go fair. What do you think, Jax? I don't know, guys. You tell us what our catchphrases are. What have you heard us say a lot? What's your catchphrase? Yeah. We explored Reddit. I thought Reddit was more funny than this. We'll try to... That was proven wrong. I'll probably go and join some subreddits on my own account. See what's up. See what funny things we can find. I know there's funny subreddits out there. We just have to find Where them. are you? All right, subreddits. It's a funny Reddit posts. We're coming for you. We'll find you um, later. Hopefully. We'll figure out how this thing works. Okay. <laughs> We're trying. Thanks for tuning in to Storytime. <laughs> Jax is saying thank you for watching. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> All of the things. <laughs> and as always, <laughs> see you. <laughs> <time>. <laughs>